to West off. Good lead. He really worked hard. All the way from the centre half forward. And now O'Shea coming off his best possession game of his career last week. He's in hot form. Ton of space. Uses the full 15. He goes for home. And it's there. What Trelaw gives it up a shield. Gets it out of the area and it might work. Great mark, Cameron. Magnificent play. He's got Hoskin Elliott running for him. Just over his head. Bouncing ball. Hans tries to track him down. He slips him easily. Disaster for Port Adelaide, but that's exactly what GWS needed. Thomas. Monfries to the open side. Kane Corns. Well, here's the man. It's his day, and he's on the board. West off. Nice Giles Schultz to Boak. It's across the face, but it might bounce in play and be okay. Wingard gathers, shrugs green, and he is class. He's gold class. Logan, Homsch, and now they run open side. Jonas and Ebert out there. Two of a spread. So Jonas to Ebert and Needs out there to lend a hand as well. And now the lead from Schultz. Ignored. Spears one in board. Oh, Ollie great Wines. Vision, great vision. Logan, not a big goal kicker. Plenty of time to size it up and delivers. Logan. Wingard. Schultz is really running hard for him. Hartler might feed back onto this. Timbor almost pulls it in. Schultz grips it back again. Hartlett again shrugs a tackle. Stand start from 50 and delivers. And does nicely. Being tracked down by Need. Put some pressure on the kick, but it might work. I like the switch. Trelaw. Reed. Oh, he played on, and it might work. Whitfield. GWS have not kicked a goal since the opening turn. They were goalless in the second quarter. This for the first goal of the second half, and it was never in doubt. On the run, good pick up O'Shea to Ebert. Monfries from 40 directly out and that's what they bought him for Westhoff well he shaped the kick to Monfries initially and missed the opportunity Paul Stewart still has Monfries for two in a row easy as a light so if they get some senior players they'll get some players who probably are going to get what they deserve perhaps yeah. Wingard Wines Logan, the handball game continues, and Logan finishes another sparkling move forward. Well, it certainly is. They're trying to push him up the ground, but you just got to keep plugging away. Sometimes it just doesn't work for you. But if you keep plugging away, keep getting the contests. Josh Bruce had it, was stolen by Schultz. <laughs> Logan, O'Shea, Homsch, untidy. Turns it over. He's done that a few times. No, good pressure, Tom Scully. He forced a turnover. To Trelaw. Townsend. Curtly Hampton. No left foot. Hoskin Elliott. And it works for Zach Williams, who kicks his first ever AFL goal. Green bombs it to half forward. Broadbent gets back to make a contest, but he's been good, Zach Williams, since coming on. Doesn't go for goal number two. Cameron gets a free. Big six-goal game against the Bombers, the best. Hasn't got one so far this afternoon. He has now. now Jimmy Cameron's one-on-one. -on -one. And they get it in Cameron's direction. He's up. He's got it. Beautiful play there. As I said before, if he keeps plugging away, eventually it starts to come your way. He's got a free kick before. He's got another shot at goal now. So he's worked his way into the game a little bit. For his second for the term, it's bending back. And he sneaks it in by a coat of paint. Paul Stewart towards Schultz, uses the body. Superb. For his third. Makes no mistake. Some bad news for Port Adelaide. Travis spoke coming off with an injury. A hand barrier. We'll keep an eye on that as we see them working on Travis. Oh, oh. Even he can't look. Mm -hmm.